All right, y'all, one more. So I was saying yesterday in my Christmas video, like I could feel it in the air, like miraculous combustion. And so I just Googled combustion because I couldn't 100% remember the definition from school, but it says it produces um, heat and light. And it's a chemical thing, right? Like with oxygen and we're not going to get into all the science of it, right? But heat and light. And I immediately thought of heat and light in a good way, like the heat from the Holy Spirit, you know, that fire that like that real fire, like that heat and then the light of Jesus. Right. And we know that um, with these miracles, like back to the blitz attack where that's what they're supposed to be doing um, on the earth for the kingdom. Right. Um, damage to the enemy's camp, but good for us. So I wanted to throw that in there. But what I really wanted to leave y'all with was the word he gave me this morning, which was that the atmosphere is also tumultuous right now okay and i haven't said this in a while but um y'all know i feel duality most of the time i feel dually because i can see good and bad i feel i feel and sense good and bad and so with the tumultuous this morning when that came to mind i was like god i don't even use that word like tumultuous like i had to open up google hit the microphone and say it because i didn't even know how to spell it and so when i googled that and it said it was chaotic right and so what he gave me, and this is what I put as my Instagram cash, it was don't go back to your ex. So I said, the atmosphere is chaotic. Don't go back to your ex. The reason I'm saying that is because when I walked outside this morning, I don't know where y'all are at, but the, the temperature here where we're at is unusually, and I do mean unusually warm to the point to where it's like, what is going on? Like, it's not like we hadn't experienced tornadoes and stuff in December before, right? But the temperature right now, like it has never been this warm in December for this many days okay and so even when we're talking about like you know just like meteorology like the atmosphere just ain't doing its normal thing and so tumultuous and so when I walked outside this morning and it was all warm and stuff um I was like oh I miss so and so no I do not like I knew it as soon as I thought it like that ain't even my thought now it was confusing though because the temperature, and this is something like we talked about it in the No More Toxic Cycle, whereas you know your patterns with the uh, the soul ties, the folks that you're not supposed to be with. And so for this particular one, it was always um, in the springtime, like when the weather was supposed to be tornadic. And I think that that is very telling. Like, what is it about the atmosphere being so chaotic that makes me feel like I'm supposed to be dealing with you, right? Like it, chaos shouldn't be what triggers me to think like, ooh, I want to be over there. And so um, it was always that time in Christmas. And so interestingly enough, it is very thick in the air with temptation to go back to relationships that you've already walked away from. God has already spoken to you about those relationships. Okay. And honestly, y'all, it feels like it's thicker than usual. Like it's already kind of hard during the holidays. Anyways, you already tempted to go and um, settle, go back out of like a fear of being alone or whatever. But it's like extra thick right now because it's like the holiday time. And the weather is 70 degrees outside. Like, what is going on? And so that was the word he gave me, the um, tumultuous atmosphere. And so, but when I've been, I told you this is my first time I've had, like, to just, like, really sit down. Um, the devil is trying it. And so for those of us who are no longer falling for that trick of the enemy, right, he trying to trip you up in other ways. I have been offered so many business opportunities, um, so many people have tried to come back that it wasn't romantic have tried to circle back dm me all types of stuff this week and that was irritating me too like what y'all think this is like we're not doing this but so many different uh tricks and traps have been popping up this week like the enemy is like for real like trying to do his last little minute last minute things to pull you back and when i tell y'all it's straight chaos it's straight chaos i can feel it i can sense it. i feel like that's why i had so much um internal turmoil going on this week too because i could I could feel it like it's so much going on. But what God showed me today was he's above all of that. And so the visual I kind of got was like, because, you know, the enemy is the prince of the air. And so whenever stuff is going on, like with the atmosphere, right, um, God was showing me that basically I have the word is transcended, but not on like no new age type of stuff, but just like above that. But basically I can I can feel what's going on in the air that he's the prince of that atmosphere but also above that where god is at and so that's how i can feel the duality and so for some of us we've broken free from like that atmosphere that the devil says set in the conditions in our lives so although we sense that although we feel that although we see that we know that god is doing something completely different above that okay and that was revelation straight from god because there's no way i would have just like known that or saw that 
And so the atmosphere the devil sets may be tumultuous, right? Full of traps and all this stuff and chaos and confusion and demonic activity because this weather is just like insane right now. But above all that, what God is doing, it is still miracles. It is still miraculous combustion going on in the uh the the level that God is at. And also with that, so for the last two days, he's been giving me um Operation Christmas Drop. I don't know if y'all seen that on Netflix. And so the fact that he was even telling me that this morning and it's no longer Christmas, which goes back to he gonna bless you whenever he wants to. And it feels like Christmas because of how God is moving and blessing you. It feels like Christmas when you're spending time with your family, when you're getting the things that you need, when you're getting the things that you want. Christmas ain't just December 25th, okay? Like he is stressing that, okay? But that feeling that you get from Christmas, right? But um, what he's been telling me as far as like what he's doing, the miraculous combustion, that is like Operation Christmas Drop. Which further confirms the word from yesterday. Because if I'm not mistaken, in that movie, they're doing like this um, mission to drop this stuff. And they're dropping it from the air in a plane. It's like the Air Force or something. But they're dropping this stuff off to the islands, the people, the natives who need it they're dropping the stuff that they need for christmas okay do y'all get what i'm saying like it's just further confirmation and so i just kind of want to speak on that and just be mindful because it was some stuff today i can feel like he trying to sink his claws in that's actually what i heard like sinking his claws in nah you know what's up you know what god told you you already know the hearts and the character that he's revealed to you don't go back like i know my the thing specifically today was don't go back to your ex because y'all that's just where my um that's the 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 struggle i'm kin with that's where i'm supposed to be speaking because relationships have always been like my why god but that's because he's called me there that's gonna be my biggest testimony but it doesn't just have to be an ex like i said even giving like these fake business opportunities been presenting themselves um these other relationships have been popping back up and it's just things to get you to settle and don't settle. And, and you're going to know because you're going to, God ain't in it. He's not co-signing it. Okay. He's just not, no matter how good it may look or sound, you going to know if God is in it. That, that goes for all of it. Okay. All of it. So the atmosphere may be tumultuous, like, cause the devil is the prince of the air, but above all that, God is doing miracles and the devil is trying to distract you and keep you from receiving the miracle that's coming from where um, God sits, which is higher, the level that God is at, which is above where the devil is at. He trying to send you stuff from his chaos to mess it up and block you being able to get what's coming from above that. Help me, Holy Spirit. It's the visions and the illustrations for me. OK, so I pray that makes sense. I love y'all.